Hello, hello, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to be reviewing the Ruger SR9, which was actually my very first gun that I have acquired. Uh, it's a bit dusty over here. Um, so in this video, we're not going to do any actual shooting or anything like that. Uh, there will be a separate video for the shooting. There will be a separate video for the disassembly. This video is just purely a review, my personal observation, things that I like and do not like about this gun. All right, so let's start with the safety first. Empty here, empty here. So Ruger SR99, I'm assuming stands for a nine millimeter. Not assuming, actually, I'm pretty sure that's what it stands for. So, the very first gun that I've got, I purchased it for around $360 used. Uh, I bought it from uh, one of the biggest retailers in my city, gun retailers. So that's why it was, I think it's a little too pricey. If you look for, for it online, especially used, you can definitely get it well under $300. Uh, Okay, so the very first thing that I am not a big fan of in this gun is how ridiculously heavy the slide is. It is extremely heavy. <laughs> Compared to all the other guns that I have, this, this slide is tough as hell. Actually, for, for quite a while, I was considering to replace the spring uh, that comes a standard for a lower pound, uh, lower tension string. But I read a lot of reviews. It's literally just one pound difference. And I've read the reviews in the forums that replacing the spring actually messes with the feed. And uh, really quickly, if you're interested, basically how it works is, you know, the less tension obviously in the string the more kickback the slider has so it messes with the timing of the feet so the actual you know the ammo does not have enough time to get into the barrel the next one and it gets stuck so people who you know who replace that spring they actually recommend you know, if you want to do that, if it's absolutely necessary for you, you know, if you have a medical condition like arthritis or something and it's really, really hard for you to pull, you don't want to put that pressure. If that's the case, if you have to replace it, then shoot one by one. Don't let, you know, put one, one bullet, one ammo, go, shoot, load it again, another one. Shoot, that's 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 the way to go with this uh, lower tension spring, which is available for replacement, which is only like 15 bucks. It's not that expensive, so if you want to do that. Uh, another thing that I'm not a really big fan of is the grip. Uh, it is pretty grippy, but just the shape of it, it just doesn't feel good in my hand. It's kind of, uh, I mean, my fingers are pretty small, <laughs> so if you have bigger fingers, probably you will have a better grip on this gun. But for me, it is a little too small and not grippy enough. Uh, not as much as I wished for it to be. Now, I'm also not a very big fan of the release buttons. Uh, I had to actually modify them. Right now, you see it works pretty smoothly. When I originally got it, now I'm not sure, maybe I got a bad you know, a bad, a bad gun, but whenever I just got it, they were horrible. You would press the button and it would get stuck and you would have to press from the other side to actually get it out before you can put in the magazine back. And I mean, that's pretty ridiculous type of problem in a gun. You know, you want to be able to be fast with it and, and not try to push this back and forth and I dropped the magazine. All right, so um, basically if you have the same problem with this really quickly, all you need to do is, I mean, it's, it's quite a lot of stuff, but 
you disassemble the gun completely and you will see from the inside here now I know you're not gonna see it and you know I can barely see it but basically if you take this thing out if you take that release button out you will understand the mechanism and you will see why it actually gets stuck in there because of the way it is shaped and basically it's a piece of plastic that is rubbing on another piece of plastic and the way it is shaped it is just destined to get stuck in there but if you actually file it a little bit and make it a little smoother and apply some really good you know uh, whatever you use to lubricate your gun it will do the job I will do another video when I will do the actual maintenance of a gun I will show you uh, a few different lubricating options that I use to keep my guns running smoothly <laughs> another thing that I did not like with the uh, slide it's again with the slide is this threads I had to modify them too they were sharp as hell now you can actually touch them and and move through them and not you know hurt yourself but it was so painful to do this before <laughs> it was terrible uh, okay so I'm I'm you know firing it without the magazine in it and actually if you read the manual of this gun they do not recommend doing it you can dry fire it but only with the magazine in it now I'm not entirely sure why what difference it makes but that's what they said in the owner's manual that's what we're gonna do uh, whenever it comes to the safety you can engage the safety when the uh, it, the gun is loaded you cannot engage the safety whenever it's not loaded uh, one of the cool features here is that safety trigger right here I, I, I kind of like that double double trigger now I have a lot of people they don't it's honestly it's up to you it does feel kind of good because you have that kind of safety before you get to actually firing it you have that a little bit of a feel now the trigger itself uh, just watch oh my god oh pff. did you see how many times it traveled before it actually now <laughs> this is one of the things whenever you're buying a gun uh, I've mentioned in, in, in uh, pretty much in every video that I do I, I like to mention this trigger this is what you do you load the gun obviously with nothing in it and then you slowly ever so slowly if this has this too much travel because look there is this safety right there's one and then it stops there's two and there it stops and there's three and there it stops and then on the fourth one you have that click it's that it's not good and then obviously the slider if it has the wobble which it has a lot now you can't see it because my hands are shaky but you can hear it so yeah I mean this <laughs> you know don't don't expect too much from this gun I would say it's a good gun for the very first one because it is rough it is tough it's pretty hard to be accurate with this gun so if you learn if you adjust to this ridiculously heavy slider if you learn how to be accurate with this gun you know you you will be good with pretty much any other gun that is out there so in a way it, it's a good starter gun you know um, nine millimeter I, I always tell people you know people want bigger uh, more power and they get this 40s and 45s as a starter guns I always recommend everyone to just just start with a nine millimeter just get adjusted to the kickback get adjusted to that you know accuracy with a nine millimeter ammo and then you switch to something heavier don't just you know start with the heaviest ammo that is out there and uh, so in a way it, it is pretty good now cleaning this gun is not that hard either you know not as <laughs> amazingly easy as, as a 1911 gun of course there are a lot more parts but this assembly is, is pretty simple you know you just get this catch over here you drop 
this little pin right here and I will make a separate video on actually disassembling the gun. You drop this little pin right here, you push out this uh, whatever lever that is holding it and then the slide just slides off ever so slowly and carefully because there is a loaded spring in here. <laughs> now, um, one thing that I really, really like about this gun and I didn't really see uh, that feature on any other gun is this little cool feature right here. Now, you can't see it here. You see, the slider right now is flat. There, there's really nothing. It's loaded with nothing and, and there's really nothing. But just, just follow me, just, just watch. You know, we're gonna get the actual ammo and we're gonna actually load it and you will see what's gonna happen. Now, it is actually loaded right now and what do you see on the slider? You see this red thing that pops out that tells you that there is an actual bullet in the chamber, in a barrel. Now, how awesome is that? And now there's not there. I, I, I really like that feature. It tells you that, you know, it's just another safety feature just to know when it is loaded and when it is not. And I wish, you know, other guns, they, they had that feature. I think it's, it's really cool. Um, well, let's see, what else is there? Oh, probably one of the best things about this gun is the capacity of the magazine. And 17, 17 bullets you can fit into this magazine right here, 17. And obviously you can load one with the chamber so you can have 18 capacity it's <laughs> it's crazy it's a lot you would never tell that it holds that much judging by the grip because it's it's i mean it's kind of thin it's kind of standard size but then it's it's pretty fat and then the way the ammo is loaded is this zigzag pattern which allows it to carry you know that much ammo in it and i guess that's what really oops that's what really makes it this group kind of uh, kind of thick like that. Um, there are some cool features here around this gun. You can slide this grip on the back down and then reverse it and slide it back in and it can have a little bit more of the, you know, obviously my fingers are pretty small so I had to keep it at the smallest level but you know, you can adjust it for yourself a little bit more. Uh, there is the standard size uh, attachment on the front so you can put in uh, the laser, the light, whatever you want. The sides are very, very versatile. You can definitely adjust them uh, by, uh, you know, there is this screw right here. There's, a screw. I believe there's another side. I actually never adjusted this one because I bought it used. So it was really nicely adjusted. Uh, so I never had to actually mess with the adjustment. Um, also, another cool thing, uh, kind of like a safety feature, it, it, you see this, uh, the actual, I, I believe that's a piece of the actual hammer that actually shoots. Now, when we're going to disassemble, you know, you'll be able to find out for sure. But you can see that it is here right now, so you can tell that the gun is loaded. Not maybe with the actual ammo, but it is cocked, so when you shoot it's not there anymore i think i think that's a pretty cool feature and uh it really tells you kind of on the safety side now if you are considering to modifying this gun um like i've said there are some uh things that you can definitely do better here and and make a decent gun out of this one um first of all the release button Definitely, definitely, definitely <laughs> figure that out and, and, and fix it. Uh, this thread right here, make it much smoother. Just buy, they have those on Amazon. I will try to find them and attach the link in the description. Um, if I don't, though, don't, don't, don't hate on me. <laughs> uh, they have those little uh, filers for metal. Take some time, but it's definitely worth it because then it's just nice to the touch. Compared compared to your your brand new gun, I'm, I'm telling you, this this feels absolutely horrible when it's brand new. 
Well, it wasn't brand new for me, but they didn't do anything with it. Um, another thing, uh, you can get actually the rubber grip around this gun. Now, if you have bigger fingers, it adds a little bit of, you know, the size, but it feels much more grippier. It only costs like $10 on Amazon and it's a pretty good update. Uh, definitely mess with the slide and the tension uh, spring because if you lubricate it properly with a proper lubricant it can get much much smoother than the you know than the your new gun and the final last thing which i did not do and i honestly don't really see any need for it people actually update this uh travel um what the hell is it called travel guide for the slide because it's plastic right now they upgrade it with a metal one they have those for sale i think it's like 25 dollars. i honestly don't see any reason to do that because it's not going to affect the performance of a gun it's not going to affect the accuracy uh, maybe it will affect the durability but again there is really not much stress that happens on this so whether it's plastic or whatever whatever it is it, it really 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 doesn't make any difference now i heard that there are some trigger updates for this gun um hey you know if you if you really want to go and you know start doing all of this improvements on a gun you know you can definitely do and i did not go as far as the trigger update so um overall you know i would recommend getting this gun if this is your very first gun if you can find it for a very 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 good price i would say if you can find it for around 200 then yeah definitely get it uh i prefer this gun any day over any glock that is out there i'm sorry you can hate on me but i'm not a big fan of glocks uh <laughs> but but you know I'm not sure. I would recommend getting if if this is, if if you are looking for a good first time gun, I would honestly recommend going with a 22 caliber SR22 gun, which I am gonna make a review on. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, "Well, 22. What am I gonna shoot? Squirrels? <laughs> Why would you shoot squirrels? We are shooting targets. What <laughs> what kind of logic is that? It's it's much easier to." load the ammo is much cheaper the slide is is much easier the gun is easier to handle the shooting is much easier accuracy is much better in the 22 caliber and you can find it cheaper because while i got this one for 360 dollars used you can get a brand new sr22 for under 300 uh and another thing i like there is actually a standard that comes with a threaded barrel uh, Gotta love the threaded barrels. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about the review. If you, you know, if you want to know more, uh, by the way, speaking of the threaded barrel, they do sell an upgraded barrel replacement barrel for this gun with the threaded attachment thing up there. And it costs around $150. Uh, you know, honestly, if you're going to spend that much money on upgrading the gun, you might as well just get a gun that already has all of the features uh that you want but uh yeah let me know in the comments below what 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 you want to see you know i'll definitely make a video shooting this gun i will make a video disassembling this gun that's gonna be fun because this has yeah a lot of parts uh but yeah subscribe like comment and uh i'll see you guys uh later